I'm Holly Davidson and I'm a referee with Scottish Rugby. Uh, my first rugby memory is playing in a competition in Perth, uh, 14 years old and um, wearing the old yellow cotton shirts. Broke my pinky, mum didn't believe me, she just threw me back on the pitch and said, you know, get on with it. I played for a boy and that's who I started with. Um, we got here to Murrayfield uh, for Youth Cup Finals and then after uh, a boy and I came to Edinburgh University, played there for my four years. I was playing at um, Edinburgh Uni and I was very new coming back to the sport. I'd only really been playing for a year and a bit before I kind of tried out for the 20s so I didn't really expect anything. Kind of turned up, gave it my best shot but this was sort of Scotland under 20s so I was like oh, I'm not in with a chance and then I got an email from our coach at the time um, saying, you know, you've been selected, congratulations, here's the training dates and I was absolutely over the moon. It was, it was a great achievement, it was the first kind of like step on and into a higher level of rugby that I'd experienced, so it was fantastic. The Scotland setup used to do um, games called Scotland Select Games, so uh, the kind of top 30 girls would train uh, and play against one another on a Friday evening and that gave the national coaches uh, exposure to the players who they wanted to pick for their squads. I started playing in those fixtures and then I was invited along to a um, summer training camp at Strathallan. Uh, Karen Finlay was the coach at the time and I was, I think I was maybe 19 um, going on 20 and it was one of the hardest training experiences of my life. They got the army in and um, it was brutal, it was so intense and so, so difficult. And then after that, I was invited along to training camps and then on the bench to get my first cap against uh, the Netherlands. We had a Scotland Select training game the Friday prior to flying out on the Monday, so everything had kind of gone to media. It got announced that, you know, I was on the bench and I was about to get my first kind of full senior cap. And played in a training game and just scored a try. Everything was kind of going really well. And then I got a stinger on the shoulder and um, I got a phone call on the Sunday from, from the coach saying, you know what, Holly, it's, um, it's too much of a risk for us to take you out to, to play the Dutch. Um, and yeah, we're, we're gonna have to pull you from the squad. To be, I didn't uh, at the time think it would sort of end my career. I was still probably 19, um, so very young in the setup. But I was absolutely gutted. Obviously, when you get announced that you're going to make your first cap, it's it's the biggest thing in any kind of player's career. It's what you strive to achieve is to to get that full international cap. Um, and so when I got that phone call on the Sunday, it was it was so it was really difficult to take. Um, and again, probably being 19, uh, you think that's going to be the be all and end all. And looking back now, it wasn't. But it, I was. I was so upset, it was like my dreams had just sort of like fallen down around me um, and I took it really, really, really hard. The referee courses were always on a Sunday um, and I'd asked Scottish Rugby, if possible, could we put a, a session on on a Saturday because if you played in the Women's Premiership, which was a Sunday, you could never attend any of the courses. So. They put a uh, course on on the Saturday, went along, and I actually really, really enjoyed it from watching the Women's Six Nations and, you know, um, international tests, and there wasn't that many female officials around. So from there, decided to know, you know, let's try this out, and Bob Easton, who um, was my coach, he said, you know, you could go somewhere with this um, if you wanted to invest the time. So I said, yeah, why not? Let's, let's give it a crack. I had all the mouth of, oh, you know, this is really easy, really easy, and then I started refereeing and it's not that easy. After I got some more games under my belt and I was still enjoying it, um, they gave, Scottish Rugby gave me opportunities to go out and try some sevens competitions and do games here um, domestically. So from there, I kind of kicked on and I was enjoying it more. And then at no point did I ever think that this would become my job. Um, but when I was offered the contract, I absolutely snapped it up. The more that we can encourage people that have picked up injuries through playing or they've come to the end of their career that you know want to try something different and can give something back to the game, that can only improve the game. You've got better match officials, you've then got a better game, a better product for people that want to be involved in it. 
Travelling the world's amazing. Uh, we get to go to some of the best places um, and experience different cuisines, different cultures, meet new people. Um, so it's fantastic, but it can be tiring and at times you get to see lots of airports, lots of hotel rooms, um, lots of solo meals, but you get to live the dream on the other half of that. So yeah, I wouldn't change it.